bodies of all clios are galvanized, and it is quite difficult to find traces of corrosion on the machines. Unless, over time, the mounting bolt of the spare wheel suspended from the outside under the trunk floor rusts. It is very cozy inside, and the two-tier torpedo looks original. Thanks to its long wheelbase and width, the Clio's cabin is one of the most spacious among its peers. It will be comfortable even for five passengers. True, only people of average height, the rest will clearly feel the lack of free space above their heads. In all versions, the trunk can be increased by folding the rear seat. Engine Most often there are cars equipped with 1.4-liter gasoline engines and equipped with a carburetor or a single fuel injection system. Carburetor versions are quite reliable, but the mono injector is a hassle. Over time, the throttle potentiometer may malfunction and the lambda probe may fail. The vulnerability of the multiport fuel injection system is the coolant and air temperature sensors, which may require replacement over time. With increased noise in Clio gasoline units, it is necessary to adjust the thermal clearances of the valves. Clio diesel units, which were also installed on Renault 19, are quite reliable. But they are sensitive to the temperature regime of operation, when overheated, cracks can form in the cylinder head between the valves. Transmission most Clios are equipped with 5-speed manual gearboxes, but automatics are rare here. In general, manual transmissions are quite reliable, and their maintenance consists in checking tightness. Oil is topped up only when its working level decreases. The weak points of the mechanics are the gearshift seal and the axle shaft seals, from under which oil often leaks. If replacing the latter does not cause any particular difficulties, then in order to replace the gearshift seal, you need to remove the gearbox and disassemble its housing. Therefore, the above operation is best done together with the replacement of the clutch, which, with a normal driving style, can last 150 to 200,000 kilometers. The clutch drive can be either hydraulic, as well as cable. The disease of the latter is the breakage of the cable due to the deformation of its sheet. Hydraulics are much more reliable. Suspension. The Clio suspension is more comfortable than many competitors. Front, McPherson type, rear, torsion bar. Clio's needle bearings are mounted in the middle of the beam and are less exposed to dirt and moisture, so they last longer. Over time, the torsion bars sag, but their design easily allows you to return the car to a youthful posture by turning the torsion bar lever. In the front suspension, every 30 to 40,000 kilometers, you will have to change the bushings and struts of the front anti-roll bar and ball bearings. But solid blocks nurse much longer about 100,000 kilometers. Steering. Most Clios were equipped with non-power steering rack and pinion, but in the sports versions of RSI and Williams, as well as in the most stuffed Baccarat, the hydraulic booster was installed as standard. On our roads, tie rod ends serve about 50,000 kilometers. Brake system. In the front disc brakes, the caliper guides can wear out over time, which is manifested by an unpleasant knock when driving over bumps. Renault Clio is one of the best and cheapest options among peer competitors. Its interior is spacious and comfortable, however, only for short people. With a large wheelbase, it has a short length, and this will make it easier to find free space on city streets and parking lots clogged with cars. Thanks to a wide range of power units, each customer will be able to choose the engine to his taste, and the energy-intensive suspension will smooth out the bumps in our roads.